Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be making a Celtic knot design. Um, it's called the Josephine. It looks like this. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. So um, get your art supplies together and we'll get started. Alright, you're going to need a piece of paper. Um, we're going to need a ruler, need a pencil, you're going to need an eraser eventually. Um, also, this is called a blending stick. I'm going to show you how to use this uh, to work on your Celtic knot. <clears throat> you also need a sharpie and a square piece of paper. This paper is three inches by three inches. Um, so we're going to use that. All right, first thing you want to do is across the top of your paper um, is draw a very light line. So um, we're drawing, we're going to be drawing some guidelines and you'll want to draw them very lightly because we're going to erase them later. All right, so we're going to just lightly draw a line across the paper. Hopefully you all can see that. <clears throat> there, just very lightly. Um, then we're going to take your square piece of paper and we're going to trace around the other three sides of the square with your pencil. All right, we want to be able to fit the paper or <clears throat> the square three times going across this way. So. Hopefully I did okay on that. <clears throat> okay, I'm kind of doing these dark so that you can see them, um, but you'll want to try to do them very lightly because we're going to erase a lot of it after we're all done. All right, so we have one, two, three, and then we're going to do it again, one, two, three down here. six squares. All right, what we need to do now is we need to um, draw circles at all the intersections. So I'm going to draw one here. You want to make them kind of big and try to get them about the same size. All right, we're going to go down here. Up here. All right. Once we have that, then what we're going to do is we're going to draw circles inside the middle of each square. Right, so I'm going to draw, you kind of have to guess where you think the middle is, and then draw a circle there. All right, you want to draw them about the same size as all your other circles. And if you don't get them exactly in the middle, that's okay. All right, so just like that, we're not gonna do the corners, and we'll just leave those alone, okay? All right, so that gets all the circles. Now, what we wanna do, and you can do this with a ruler, or you can just freehand it. I'm gonna freehand it, um, but you could use a ruler if you wanted to do this. So we're gonna draw lines that touch the edge of the circle right here. So we're going to start in the middle and you're just going to draw a straight line that connects the top of the circles right here. <clears throat> All right, and then you're going to do this over here. Right to the edge of the circle there. You don't want to draw it in the middle of the circle but just right along the edge. Here. Okay, now once we have those two lines then we're going to come up here to this side and we want to draw um, perpendicular lines that touch the edge of the circle here and connect to this line. I'm just going to draw this. All right, and stop when you get to the edge of the circle. Right <clears throat> All right, then we're going to come over here, we're going to do the same thing. Right on the edge of the circle here. Yeah. All right, then we're going to come back this way. All right, and you want these lines to connect, <coughs> connect so I'm going to fill that in if I need to. Okay, 
Okay, see here, I didn't actually touch the circle, but that's okay. I was just trying to keep it straight. <clears throat> that circle might have been a little bit smaller than that one. Okay, I'm gonna do another one over here. So I'm going to go across this way. That connect right there. And then up here. Alright, I can still do right here. <clears throat> so do one here. And it didn't quite touch there, but just so it looks like it's straight. That gets all our diagonals that we need. All right, the next thing we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're going to um, do a loop on the top here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So right here, you're gonna start, draw a curve around the circle, and that's gonna kind of connect into this one. Right, and then here, we're gonna go above our guideline and try to keep it like the same thickness as you come around. Same thing down here at the bottom, so we're going to have a curve around, and you want it to be in line right here. So, that. <clears throat> Just right around that circle right there, and then we're going to come over here, come down, around, and come back, back up there. So that gets the top and the bottom. Now we need to do the corners. So what we're going to do with that, so we're going to start right here. Um, this line, of course, comes down right here. So you notice we're trying to make it look like things are overlapping one another. Um, but anyway, so right here, come down, and then we're going to go out to the corner right here. there and then this one we're going to bring down to the corner right there and then right here we're going <clears> to <throat> go around the circle like that okay we're going to do the same thing here straight across go out to the corner here, out to the corner you can go a little bit above that guideline that'll be okay <clears throat> make it pointy on the end there and then right here we're going to wrap around the circle It's connecting there. All right, gonna do the same thing on these corners. <clears throat> All right, and then last corner right here. So that's our whole knot. <clears throat> all right, we're gonna do next, take the Sharpie, and we're gonna trace all our lines that we did for the Celtic knot part. So I'm gonna trace this real quick, and then I'll come back to you with more directions. Okay, <clears throat> so I have it all traced now. That's what, next step is the eraser. We need to erase all the guidelines that are on here. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back to you the next step. all the lines. All right, the next thing, uh, next step, I'm going to show you how to do all the blending um, so that makes it look like it's more three-dimensional. Um, so we're going to need our pencil for this, and what we're going to do is start right here, 
And we're just gonna color with the pencil smoothly right along the edge here. All right, so everywhere like this is going under, so we're gonna color here. Then we're gonna come over here and color on this side. If you do like circles as you're coloring, it'll look um, it'll be smoother. Okay. Then we're gonna do right here, kind of coloring in circles. Just wanna get that graphite on there. This side. All right, then we're going to come down here. So you want to do this everywhere it looks like a <clears throat> band is going underneath. So be up here as well. Okay, so I think I've done it everywhere that it goes under. So now that you have all these areas colored in with the pencil, I'm gonna give you a blending stick, or you wanna use a blending stick. You could also use your finger or a tissue, um, but what we're gonna do is to smear, or blend, um, these areas out. So I'm just gonna take the blending stick, blend that out, and then like, in here you want to use heavy pressure and then a little bit lighter pressure as you move out away from the darker area there. All right, so we're going to do that on all these areas. So heavy pressure here and then get lighter pressure out toward the middle there and then leave the middle part white so that you don't go over that part. All right, so we're going to do that all the way around. All right, so I have it all blended now. Um, what you might want to do is you can go back with the pencil if you wanted to darken it up a little bit um, right along the edge here. Um, just color it a little bit darker. All right, so that's how you draw the Josephine Celtic Knot. I uh, hope you had fun with that, and show me your results. All right.